Hi guys, it's Leanne, and in today's video I'm doing a product empties. I have a bunch of products because the last time I did one of these videos, a couple months ago, and it's been since then. And I know I've been MIA for a while, things are busy, school's taking a lot of time. So if you're new to my channel, welcome and make sure you subscribe before you leave. Let's get into it. First thing we're going to go over is the probiotic gummies that, I mean, they worked. I think they worked. They were cool. Um, I got these in my box box. These were for me for free to, and my cat is trying to get back together. Wonderful. They were sent, for me, sent to me for free to test out, so that's what I did, and I think they were cool. So, yeah. Next, I have a antiseptic mouthwash blue rinse. Blue rinse. I have an antiseptic mouth wa mouthwash. It's the Blue Mint. I got just a shirt. It's a dollar store. It was good. And then I have quite a few candles. First, I have the Pineapple Crush from Tyler. These are cool, but they like, they burn weird. They burn weird. Like, they burn and they don't. It's really weird. And then I have a Lime Margarita from Circle E. These again burn really weird, but we sell them at my work, so they're convenient, easy, and they smell good. Um, next, um, I have a, another mouthwash. This is the Listerine Cool Mint. Uh, these are in every empties video I have. It's good. I like it. The dollar store brand is just as good to me though, so like I probably will start buying that versus this because it's like four dollars and that is a dollar. Um, next I have the makeup wipes because there's a bunch of them sitting right here. I have two packs of the Wet n Wild under the sheets. One's a ten pack and one's a twenty five. I really like these. They're cheap. They're good. Can't beat them. Probably will repurchase them. Next, I have the Up and Up makeup removers. Again, cheap, good, we will repurchase them. Um, and then I have the Ole Hendrix Clean Truth Cleansing Cloths, the vitamin C ones. These are really good. I got them at TJ Maxx for like $4.99. So if I found them here again, I definitely buy them, but I wouldn't pay the $10 for them. Like, I can get just as good in the Up and Up or the Wet n Wild. So if I found them for this price, yes, otherwise probably. And then, of course, I have the e.l.f. makeup removers. These are cheap, easy to hold up, and they're good. I would buy them. Next, I uh, do body washes because I have a few sitting right here. Uh, first, I have the Escape, the Moisturizing Body Wash. Um, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I don't know what brand this is. I'm assuming it's just Escape, but I wouldn't repurchase it. And then I have Mad About You by Bath & Body Works. It smells good. I'm sad it's gone. I would, I would buy it again. Um, and then I have a dry shampoo, the Batiste Bright and Lively Floral. Batiste can't go wrong. I would definitely buy it again. Maybe not in the scent. The scent wasn't my favorite, but I would buy Batiste again. Um, next I have the Pure Silk Dry Skin Therapy Aloe and Vitamin E from Pure Silk. Um, I really like the shave cream. It's the one I usually always buy. It's really good. Easy to hold up. I buy it again. And then I have a couple, I have a fair amount of shampoos. So I have the purple shampoo because at one point my hair was blonde before I did this business and it toned it. It's nice. I really like this. I definitely would buy this again. Like I really like this purple shampoo and it's at Sally's so it's like super easy to get your hands on. And then I have a Paul Mitchell's Color Protecting Daily Shampoo. The lid broke on me, like the packaging on this kind of sucks. If it wasn't like, and it got water in it. So, I mean, it was cool. It was a good shampoo, but I wouldn't buy it again for the Chi package. Next, I have the Chi Argan Oil Conditioner and Shampoo. I really like these. I definitely would buy these again, but I'm using something different right now. So when I run out of shampoo and conditioner again, I probably will buy some of these. They're really good. They smell really good. So yeah. Um, I think you can get these at Ulta. I get them at Armstrong Macaw, but I think you get these at Ulta or anybody like a hairdresser that sells chi. I don't really know where you can buy these. <laughs> um, since we're on hair, I have two hair dyes that I used on one of my friends. These are old. This is Jade by The Color Brilliance by Ion. 
it came out really nice. It was a really pretty color. I, I would recommend using this. Especially for somebody who just does your own hair. These are really good colors. Um, I have a Sensodyne Pro Enamel Gentle Whitening Toothpaste. Got to brush your teeth. This is the toothpaste I use. Would obviously buy it again. I bought it again. Um, I have a St. Ives Black Eye Clearing, Clearing Green Tea Scrub. I really, really liked this. I think it did work. The only thing is, it's just, it's impossible to get off if you're not in the shower. Like, those little beads, like, stick to your face, and it's just, like, not a, like, fun time getting these off. And they're, like, itchy, so it's good if you're in the shower. Otherwise, I wouldn't, I would buy it again, but I wouldn't use it, like, as a regular face wash. I used it only when I washed my hair in the shower because I got water on my face versus washing my face outside of the shower. So, yeah. Um, I have another mouthwash. This is the Kroger brand Blue Mint. It was okay. It wasn't, it. the dollar store one was better. Excuse me, so I'll probably buy that one again over this one. But I mean, it wasn't bad. Um, and then I have a color preserving mask by Ion. I liked this when my hair was long, and then it like started to dry my hair out when it got shorter. So I probably won't. I won't buy this again unless my hair is long. Like I've used other. I've got other masks that I'm using right now that are so much nicer than this. So I won't buy this again. Um, I have four lashes, four lashes that I used. I used the Ardell Naturals. I wish I had a picture of what these looked like. Uh, the Naturals, the Wispies, and then another Wispies, just the red letters. And then I used another Foam Ink in the Style 812. And these are my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite lashes. So I definitely highly recommend these. Um, I used... Up and up, 100 cotton rounds, you know, the basics. Um, I went through a Vaseline, I went through a Vaseline spray moisture. I really like this, like this was a really neat idea. Like I sprayed it when I got out of the shower before I put like actual lotion on so it could soak in while I was like doing my hair in business. Nice, I liked it. Um, there's another candle in here. I'm so sorry this is gone. This is the White Barn, it's Bath and Body Works but it's the Black Cherry Merlot. I love this candle so much. I, I need to go buy another one. I haven't gotten around to it. I have a stash of candles that I need to burn, and it's just like, when I get around to it. It's a really good candle though. One of my favorite smells for sure. And then I have the Black Cherry Merlot um, wall insert from Bath & Body Works as well, and yeah, I really like this as well. I love my Black Cherry Merlot smells. <laughs> Um, and then I have a deodorant, the Old Spice Wolf Thorn. I use men's deodorant. It works. It gets the job done. It smells good. Uh, I probably would purchase. I have a different one right now that I don't really like as much as these. I think these are better. But I'm going to have to buy another one when I'm done with that one. And then I have another um, wall insert. This is the Peach Bone. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. These are really good. I like this one too. This one wasn't as strong as the Black Trimmer Low though. And then I have two sample moisturizers from Sephora. I have the Amor Pacific, Pacific, yeah, Pacific uh, Moisture Bond. And I used all of this. Like, it just came in a little, like, little tubey tube. And it was really good. I liked it. I I don't actually, I didn't look up how much the full size costs. I probably would buy it if it wasn't, like, a million dollars. And then I used the Tide Sunday Riley, yeah, moisturizer. It's, it's not, it doesn't really say what it is, and I can't find it on Sephora's website, so I don't know what the deal with that one is. Next, I have the Belief True Cream Aqua Bond. It's just another sample size moisturizer. I was trying to go through samples, and then I also used a Living Proof Style Extender. I really liked this. Like, this was a really good product. Like, I would actually buy the full size of this. I just have But it was really good. Like, I actually genuinely really liked this. Um, and then I have the Origins Drink Up Intense Overnight Mask. This is so good. I'm so sad that it's gone because I really, really like this part. Like, if you have dry skin, this works great as a daily moisturizer like I do. And it just made my skin feel so nice and so soft. And it was just, I'm sad that it's gone is the best way to put it. Like, I wish I still had some. I need to buy another one of these. But I'm trying to work through other moisturizers right now. And I've been using oil on my skin, and that's been doing really nice for um, I have one more thing that's not makeup, and then I'm pretty sure the rest of this is makeup. 
I have a Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin Detoxifying Charcoal Paper Mask that I use. I also got some of this for free from my box box and I really liked it. It was definitely like a cool look with my first sheet mask. They're fun. Especially right before you do your makeup, they're really fun. So I definitely would buy this again. And the rest of this is makeup that either didn't work for me or it was just old or I finished it. And I'm really sad about some of these. So I guess we'll start with mascaras. Because I have quite a few of here. The first one I have is the Clinique High Impact Mascara in black. I liked it. It was decent. I probably it was decent. I probably wouldn't repurchase it. I have the Best Lash Extreme by Georgiana. This was amazing. I need to go buy another one. I just haven't gotten into Walgreens to get it. And then I have a Clinique. This is a Lash Power Full, Flutter to Full. I hated this. It made my eyes itch. Like this was, I just did not like this at all. Like I could not use it. It made my eyes itch so bad. Um, and the mascaras, I have the Essence Lash Princess. Again, I need to go buy another one of these. I just haven't gotten around to it. I went to my Ulta the other day and they were sold out so I obviously didn't get one. but I need to get one because I love these and they're so cheap and then I have another I have the makeup forever excessive lash I use this never really liked it and then it's bad it doesn't work anymore so threw it out um and then I also have the gimme brow by benefit I am so sad this is gone like I don't know what I'm like my brows are just not been the same since this has disappeared but I need to buy another one but I'm cheap so if you have any if you have any suggestions for a good la brow brow mascara is that what they're called brow mascara like leave it in the comments below i'd love to try new ones out always looking for new things to use next i have oh and this went bad this is just the like cover girl clear brow gel it went bad um next i have three lip products i have the Arma the armani milani matte amore lip cream i hated this this like was so drying it's the red it's in the shade 14 devotion this is terrible like this was just so drying on my mouth like it's such a pretty color it was so dry and i just physically could not use it and the same with the liquid the nyx lip lingeries they were just i have the shade um exotic 12 and five beauty marks these are beautiful shades i love them i just could not physically use them they were so drying on my it was ridiculous that I just couldn't use them. And then I have a NYX cream blush in the shade O2 Natural. It just went bad. <laughs> I started using other blushes, never really got through it. It has no pigment left in it. It's just, it's bad. Um, I have a travel size of the All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I, I bought another one of these immediately. Like, these are the best setting spray in my opinion ever. I love it. I was so sad that it was gone. There's like nothing left in it I used every bit of it alcohol and doll so yeah I repurchased that for sure and then I have the brow wiz and soft brown um I love this it like won't twist up there's nothing like there's no product left on this um I didn't repurchase it but I will just because I have other brow pencils that I am currently working through all right thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed all of my product empties there was quite a few and if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and follow all my social media. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!